Rick Wilson, Stan Columbus, Richie Rudd in 12. And Brent Bodine, Bill Elliott, and Kenny Schrader. Good battle there for fourth spot. Trouble in the back straightaway. One car loose and around and sliding against that inside retaining wall. That's Dale Jarrett. I've seen him get loose way back in the middle of the corner. As a matter of fact, I pointed it out to you. You thought I was talking about the race that was going on, but I've seen him get sideways way back in the center of the corner. Short day for the Sitco Ford. That could be an example, Mike, of, of getting trouble in the middle of the corner and, and the result being off the corner. But Dale has some experience that uh, he must have gotten some serious trouble in the middle of the turn. I've noticed something. When they go up on the outside in one and two, it's much more severe than it is in three and four. It seems to be a, a wider groove in three and four, but when they go high in one and two, they really get out of it. I think, buddy, if we'll get the, get a shot maybe of turn one, there's some cracks that run parallel to the, to, the, to the racetrack, and it's just above the bottom lane, and I think that's why there's more, you have more trouble in one and two than you do in three and four. That's what one of the drivers described as being a road map, the way that sealer, there you can see the asphalt sealer up into the grooves, and it looks kind of like a road map. It's about seven or eight feet up from the white line, and that's where, that's where you would want at least your left side tires if you were on the outside line. Right. You can stay below it on the inside line. That's a good shot of it right there. It's, it's really just about parallel to the racetrack. Morgan Shepard comes to the pit lane. So does Jimmy Spencer and Tommy Ellis. Here's Steve Evans. Well, they are poised and ready on pit road, even though this yellow came very early in the race. In comes the 97 car. Tommy Ellis driving for Flossie Johnson. We see Kenny Wallace bring the Kyle Petty number 42 car in. We are currently standing in the pits of Brent Bodine, and the Quaker State team is also standing by with tires and fuel. Uh, would you recommend Buddy Baker coming in this early on the yellow? Anytime they throw a caution in Dover, you better come in and get what you need. Jimmy Spencer pulling out of pit road, and uh, he has flattened up the right side of Travis Carter's car on something. We're 20 laps complete. We are under caution. Rusty Wallace leading, Mike Waltrip, Dale Earnhardt, Alan Kulwicki, and Ernie Irvin. We'll be back to Dover Downs right after this. At Dover Downs, we're under the first caution of the day, 23 laps complete as they take Dale Jarrett's car in off the hook. Let's have another look at that incident up in turn two. Wow, that's after he's already got in trouble and hit the inside wall, but... As you notice with this high bank on the straightaway, you don't go back up the racetrack. He'll probably get into the inside. Yeah, there he goes in the inside wall again. So it's a it's a mean place to lose a race car. That's from another angle, and as Buddy said, the damage is already done. He's already hit the inside wall, and again, the, the banks are self-cleaning. If you're out, if you're on the racetrack, you're going to come down because that's because gravity is going to take you down. And there he goes into the end. He's got the brakes locked up, but there's nothing he can do about it. There's a shot of the cars that's going back to the garage. Two items on pit road during this caution. Jimmy Spencer is still on pit road. They're working on the Banquet Food Chevrolet, the Travis Carter car, which looks like he banged it up a little bit in the right rear. And Morgan Shepard uh, was given the first speeding ticket of the day. He was too fast coming into the pits on caution, so they brought him back in for a stop and go. That means the Budmore Motorcraft Ford will be at the tail end of the field when they get this restart. You're riding with Hunt Strickland. 